During the unboxing of this Audi, I mentioned that there were a couple of sink marks all around the body and some of the components that need to be put onto the body, like this small rear spoiler, and those needed to be fixed before I could start the primer and painting process. So first of all, I marked out all of them that I could find, then went over them with a sanding stick to make it nice and flat all around the area to see if I could remove it that way. And if I couldn't, I would then uh, roughen up that small surface that is the lower laying area or small dent, so to speak, and then fill it up with a bit of super glue. I let the super glue cure. You can also just use a bit of super glue accelerator that speeds up the process uh, from a couple of hours to a couple of seconds, so that might help. All of it was then sanded flush and that's pretty much it for the filling process on that rear spoiler. I could then move on to the rest of the body doing pretty much the same but I wanted to try this with a bit of the light curing putty from Tamiya. Also works really quick. You just put it on the areas that need it after roughing it up a little bit. Add some UV light to it for a couple of seconds and it is also fully cured. And then you can of course start the entire sanding process and repeat it if necessary. Once completed, I moved on to the rest of the body, giving it a nice sanding as well with some 600 grit, and then went over all the panel lines, making them a little bit deeper. Like I mentioned during the unboxing, again, they were a little bit too wide for my preference, but I'm not gonna fill all of them up and rescribe them and recreate all of them. That will simply take up way too much of my time and probably won't really look all that good in the end if I do it. So I'm just gonna make them a little bit deeper, clean them up a little here and there and not go overboard. If I didn't touch them at all, they simply wouldn't really be all that nice and deep, but just wide and not really good looking and probably disappear after a couple good coats of paint as I'm known for doing it. The clear coat going a little bit too heavy sometimes, but I'm trying, I'm trying. Uh, nonetheless, as you can see, in the meantime, I've moved on to adding primer. For this body, since it is molded in blue, and blue or colored plastic can be pretty aggressive when it comes to painting. Uh, in past cases that I've seen, uh, when doing a red body and painting it pretty much any other color than red, the red plastic bleeds through the color and it looks horrible in the end. So what I'm doing is using 2K primer. This seals the plastic nicely and uh, makes sure that no reactions or bleed through will occur on this one. Now after this first session of primer, I still noticed a couple of areas that I was a little bit too rough with and needed a little more attention and also some of the areas that I filled on the front bumper needed a little bit more filling and sanding plus some of the scratches that I left from shooting out of the panel line while scribing also needed more attention. So those were sanded out first as they weren't really all that deep anymore and the first layers of primer filled them in nicely so just sanding that smooth took care of those and some of the other areas that were a little bit rougher needed some filler. I just used some super glue again sanding and then uh, after cleaning it up I could move on to the second stage of primer. Now since I went through the primer with all of that sanding on some of the areas that needed fixing, I applied some 2K primer again to fully seal those in and just use that primer for the rest of the build too, uh, specifically the body panels that I'm going to be painting in this video and then for the other panels that aren't really all that critical, I will just be using some regular primer. I gave the primer about four hours to fully cure and then moved on to sanding it again, but this time with a 3000 grit, just removing some of the rough spots, roughing it up a little bit, but mostly just smoothing it out in preparation for the color. I decided to go for red on this one. I didn't have any Audi red, but red is red and I wanted a nice bright red and I had some Ferrari red laying around from Splash and I really like that color. So over top of the white primer, Applying the red paint gives it a really nice pop, a bright red finish, and that is exactly what I was looking for, as it looks pretty similar to the Audi RS reds that I've seen. So as usual, starting off with all of those easy to forget, hard to reach spots first, and then the rest of the body. Now be aware, I applied 2K primer to this. It might be a little bit overkill for some, but I tend to like to apply my color coats a little heavier. And since these are lacquer based paints, they do tend to react to the plastic quite heavily if applied too thick or not given enough time to cure. Now again, since I applied 2K primer, that seals in the plastic body entirely and also prevents those reactions from happening. So keep in mind if you're not using a 2K sealer or primer on the plastic, 
and are using the lacquer paints do not go this heavy and try to apply a couple more lighter coats wait a little bit longer in between but since I like to go pretty fast and also like to paint pretty heavily with colors especially to get a nice coverage these 2k primers really help me out and let me do what I want to do and also create a super nice and smooth finish After applying about three coats of the red, I set the body aside to cure overnight as I needed to mask it off in order to paint some of the trim pieces in black. So I started masking off the side skirt first. It also has a small portion on the doors as well. So that was masked off. I pressed my fingernail into all of the panel lines and then carefully cut out all of the masking and removed the stuff that I didn't need masked and could then move on to the roof. With both side skirts now masked off I could move on to the roof that was a little bit simpler as I could just simply gently stretch the masking tape along the panel line and bend it where it needed to go and then mask off the rest of the body in order for me to be able to start painting the black. For the black I will simply be using a Bentley black it has a really fancy name but simply it is just black no metallics no nothing just dark black or dark just black. So I started off with the side skirts first and then did the roof. I was a little bit disappointed in this black as it wasn't really covering all that well. It took about six coats for it to fully cover and on some of those coats I went pretty heavy. Now luckily again I applied the 2k primer so I could do that otherwise maybe I would have gone to 10 coats in total for just the black in order to get it fully covered. Not a really big deal as I did have a lot of parts to paint like the uh, front grille, the front bumper insert piece, the mirrors and all stuff all around. So I could just pretty quickly go through it as the paint dries really nice and fast. But again, six coats for the black to cover isn't really optimal. I've had black paints that cover a lot better in the past. Now compared to the red, that was pretty much fully covered after two coats and the third coat was just to be sure. Uh, and that's pretty much how I'd like to see it. So the black, again, a little bit of a letdown, but still it did leave a nice smooth finish and it does help with building patience or losing your patience. Either one works properly. So I let that cure for a couple of minutes, clean out the airbrush, and once that was done, I could move on to peeling off all of the masking tape. Now since I decided to go for the black trim line on the exterior, more of that will come when the windows uh, go in, those need to be uh, painted with some black as well, I chose to go for the black Audi logos on the rear too. Luckily Ravel had a decal set with both a silver and a black set of decals for the logos, which I haven't really seen before but I really like that they're doing as a lot of these factory options when you spec out one of these cars are available on the one-to-ones as well. So it's good to see that translate into the kits too. I first went over the decals with the gloss clear just to seal them in and get them acclimated to the clear a little. And the roof was a little rough, had a bit of dirt in it as I didn't really clean out my airbrush all that well before I put the black on. And when going full blast, some of that dirt got into the paint onto the roof and therefore the finish there isn't quite as smooth as I wanted it to be. So I applied a nice coat of clear on there first so that could level out a little bit and maybe help it smooth out a little in the end. Finished off the rest of the body with a first coat, went on to all of the other parts as well and let it sit for about five minutes before moving on to the second coat of clear. With the first coat of clear applied and five minutes of cure time passed, I did notice that it went on a little bit too thick and the clear coat needed to be thinned out a little more. It is getting a bit colder where I live, so adding a bit of thinner to your clear coat 
uh, this splash paint normally doesn't need a thinner if it's a warmer climate you just add the two parts together and you're good to go but it was a little thick due to the lower temperatures here so i added a little thinner to that mixture about 10 percent uh, for it to flow out of the airbrush a lot nicer and also give it a bit more of a uh, self-leveling capability it normally already does that but if it's a bit too thick it tends not to really do that so by adding just a little drop of thinner to your clear mixture it helps it out a lot now don't do this on the first coat as on the first coat you just want as much uh, clear on there as you can and in the second coat or even third coat you can add a little bit of thinner that will just flash off and nicely level out the clear coat After applying and finishing the second coat, I was really happy with the finish. There was a little bit of dirt in the roof, but that was already there and some landed in there. Nothing you can really do about it. It is still a super nice and smooth finish apart from that dust. And I'm really happy with the way it is looking. I'm setting this aside to cure for a couple of days and we'll be moving on to the interior next.